Hi everyone, Janie here, and as promised, I'm going to show you how to use that metal stamping kit that I just got, but I'm going to warn you that I'm still learning. So I'm still using the practice tags, and I am definitely a beginner beginner at this. So what I'm going to show you today is definitely aimed at beginners like me. So let's head on over and I'll show you. Okay, I have my metal bench block on a very sturdy table. I have my hammer and the practice tag that I'm going to be using. And I have the stamps that I'm going to be using. And I have tape to tape this onto the block. And what I've done to make life easier, and it is one of the suggestions, is I have marked every quarter of an inch using my ruler and I actually decided to do that on two pieces and you'll see why here in a moment but these are to hold the piece onto the block and the measurements are to help guide you as to where to put your stamp. So now we're ready and I am working around a camera here so I am going to be moving this closer to me but I have my little metal tag right here my little practice tag sitting on the block and I'm going to take my tape and put it about let me see here I'm trying to center this pretty good I'm going to put it right there okay I'll bring that up there so you can see it. Look at that, you can see the camera too. Okay, and now I'm gonna take that other piece and you don't have to do this, but I think for me it's gonna make life easier. So I'm lining it up so that the marks on both sides match up. And I probably shouldn't put it that close. I put it, get a little bit more space here so okay not close enough there we go I'll call that close enough okay so that's what it looks like I've got my piece on there now when you are you know writing on here for example a name in this case I am going to be using our dog's name which is Zach so it has an odd number so I'm going to start with the middle letter. Now if it was a longer name, let's say Janie. So I'd have J-A and then N and then I-E and the N would be the middle. And so I am going to start with the A and see if you can see that. The A is showing right down here. You want that facing you when you're doing this. So I'm going to line this up and these right there that should be the middle so I'm going to line it up and I'm going to use my hammer I'm going to hit this about ten times five or ten times I will tell you I watched a video that said to hit it once that does not work but the directions that came with this said five to ten times and that does work okay pull it up and there is the A. Looks like I got it up a little bit too far and I hope I can get the other letters lined up with that. But I'm gonna be really honest with you. I have been really bad at getting things lined up. So let me see here, I did that there. I am just going to move this over between the next two lines so I can keep things close make sure I've got the right one yep I've got the right one and so we line that up okay hopefully I'm in the right place okay looking good not exactly perfect but looking good okay so now I'm going to grab the right one make sure you have the right one so this is the Z for Zach again facing me and I'm gonna line that one up 
little right here. Whoops! And be careful, this these really can slip and slide, okay? I think I've got it in the right place. Okay. And there we go. Hold on, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the tape and pull that off so that you can see what I did. I know all the reflections, but trust me, that says Z-A-Q, which is Zach, and I actually want to put Renta underneath, but I don't want to take up your time because I'm really slow with this. Um, I just wanted to show you that, and now I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Next, we're going to take a Sharpie and go right across those letters because we want this black to get down inside. Okay, now I'm going to let that set a minute and I'm going to go grab an alcohol wipe to wipe that off. The kit came with alcohol wipes, but if you don't have those, just put alcohol on a piece of paper towel. It works just fine. I've actually done that during practice. <laughs> and we're just going to wipe that off like so. And you can see that the name stands out more now because the black is down inside. And I didn't get my cue exactly perfect, but that's okay. And so that is how easy it is to do this. So, once I get really, really good at this, if that ever happens, I promise I'll come back and, you know, maybe make a piece of jewelry or a key ring or something with you. And oh, there's something else I wanted to point out. If you have one of these and you don't have a lot of, um, you know, a lot of things to practice on, this is a paint stick. That, you know, I do paint stick crafts. <laughs> this is a scrap one. And as you can see, there's Zach's name again. So that's what I've been practicing with. But you can also practice on a piece of wood just to get the hang of, of lining things up and the feel of it. So there you go. Thank you all for coming back to um, watch me <laughs> try to show you how to use that kit that I got. If you missed the unboxing and want to see everything that came in my metal stamping kit from the Adults and Crafts crate, I'll have the unboxing video linked right here on the screen and also as the video is ending so you will have two opportunities to click on it. And if you'd like to learn more about the Adults and Crafts Crate subscription, I'll put a link to them below in the description box so you can check it out. I have a monthly subscription, so be looking for my unboxing video next month to see what I get. Thank you all so much for stopping by, and as you saw, I'm still learning, but I hope this gave you an idea of what metal stamping is and how to get started. I'm looking forward to learning new things every month with the adults and crafts kits, and I hope you come back to see what they are. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.